Before we start today's lesson, I just want to apologize. I might have a bit of sniffling still going on. I'm just getting over a bit of a bad cold. I do have some lozenges, but they're soft ones, so you shouldn't actually hear that. And I should be, be able to edit out all the coughing. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into our lesson. So the last time we left off, we want to start calling the fire laser method from the enemy attack. And I'm actually going to move the laser closer to it just so we can look at it. And the thing is, is that through enemy attack, we're going ahead and already doing the ray casting, finding the spot that we want to shoot. Which we are storing in the target, correct? It's actually been a few days I've looked at this. We actually are not storing it. But we are doing the ray cast. We are seeing the hit. So we could go ahead and store the, the exact spot that we hit here in a global variable and then go ahead and pass it on into here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to go ahead and have to cast uh, another ray to do the exact same thing that I just did. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into enemy attack. And I'm gonna go ahead, this doesn't even need to be serialized or anything. I'm just gonna make it a vector three because it's just the position I wanna aim at. And I'm just gonna call this hit position. And I'm gonna come down into the have line of sight. And right in here where we go ahead and take a look and go, oh look, it is the player. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, draw our ray. I'm actually gonna switch this to green. Green, well, not gray, green. Green means good, that means we have a target. And then before we go ahead and return to, I'm gonna go ahead and take that hit position and make it equal to the hit dot transform dot position. And remember this hit is the actual target that we hit that we're getting through this out variable here. So we'll go ahead, we save it off, we return. And then in here, we're gonna go ahead and call that laser now. So laser dot, uh, was it fire laser? And I'm going to pass in that hit position. What I want to do is come in here and redo this. Make an overload so that if we pass in the position, that is used. And if we're not passed in a position, it'll go ahead and calculate it and then finish it off. So there's a lot of code here going to be duplicated. So let's go ahead and consolidate all the code so we don't have to duplicate it. So we're going to start off by making that overload. So we have a fire laser. And this is going to take a vector three and I'm just going to say target position and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to take everything and I'm just going to copy it for now. Well, no, we'll go ahead. We'll just cut it all out and replace what we need up there. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in Then we'll take this position. Yes, Google, I know I moved you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and not cast the ray now. We'll go ahead, we'll put this here, and this will work for our ship, our enemy ship, if we go ahead and start this up. It's not going to work for our player now, because our player, well, it's not going to air or anything else. It's just not going to make our lasers. But if we go ahead, there we go, see him shoot the laser at me, I guess it helps if we follow. Come on, am I hitting the right key? Let's zoom in on him. And if he's within this time, you should see the laser go off. So you see the little red beam? Now it is being shot from the center and it's obviously lasting too long. We gotta shorten the duration. But we can see it and we can see it zipping by us as well. We've definitely gotta shorten that duration. But we've already got a video on that, so I'll leave that to you to do. Now we wanna go ahead and get this working again so we can actually shoot. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and set up a new vector three. And I'm just going to call it pos for position. And this is going to be equal to that cast ray function. So now this is going to go up here. Remember, this is when the player presses it. It's going to go up here. It's going to cast the ray for us. It's going to go ahead and return the hit position for us. And then we can go ahead and pass it into here. Not the most elegant solution, but it's a very easy one for people who are just starting to program to, to be able to conceptualize and use. There we go. So we go ahead, just to reiterate, when this is called without a parameter, it's going to go ahead and make a vector three, which goes up here, calls it, gets the position. It's going to return it to the pos. It's going to save it here. Well, sorry, save it here. And then we're going to go ahead and call the one that takes the vector three and then go ahead and pass it down there. Of course, we could shorten this as well by saying fire laser and then just putting cast ray in like this. This does the exact same thing. It goes ahead and it calls what's inside of here, the parameters first. 
So it's going to come up here. It's going to get that vector three. It's going to be returned. And then since it's returned inside of here, it now calls this function and it's going to pass that in as well. Now I know people are just starting out. That's going to be really confusing. So I'll leave it there just for you to look at, something to work forward to. But let's go ahead and keep it super simple. And we'll just store. So now we should be able to shoot off into the distance as well. Let's fix that. All right, let's go ahead. We'll jump into our script. Let it recompile, make sure there's no errors. We'll go ahead, we'll start this back up. And he's already shooting on me. Um, I actually want my camera a bit higher too. Maybe we'll do some adjustments in this one. But anyway, now when I shoot, we see that I get my... Well, I actually shot him, I think. <laughs> anyway, now I've got my lasers back as well. Now let's actually go ahead and test it out when we're flying around the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the wall out here. Let's see how good he is at not shooting me then. We probably should speed his shot time up. Well, he just goes through the wall. That's one thing we haven't worked on is his ability to um, detect things and not go through them. And we probably should do that in the next video. So I'm going to make this video a little short. I just wanted to get something out just to complete the, the enemy laser part. And because I haven't had a video out in about four or five days since I've been sick. But anyway, sorry it's short, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>